Hello, everybody. I had to talk to you because I've been listening to, to Jason Brashears, Brashears, something like that. Um, and uh, he's Brashears, that's, that's how you pronounce, pronounce it. And he's really a um, top, you know, thinker, a top thinker, I've got to say, and, and a researcher. And I really admire his hard work. And um, I feel sorry that he had such a, hor a horrid life but maybe it's all coming back for him now and he certainly deserves it um because he's certainly done the work and uh i can see he's also done work on it's very easy to see he's done work on himself and when i saw the interview with uh, him and jay campbell jay campbell is interesting but jay campbell needs to um just let the person finish and just find his timing to get in, tune it up a little bit better because he's got a great um, method of bringing out the uh, subject matter and letting people feel comfortable and at home. And at first I thought he was interrupting way too much. Jason was there to, you know, exp explain all the things that he's learned. And uh, But I think that Jay has... It was a fantastic um, counter, not counter, but uh, uh, um, partner to, to that because um, he's very well read as well. So, and very uh, experienced uh, and he's he's got the right attitude, the right attitude. Um, I listen to a lot of um, these, um, I guess you could say men. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, talking, like I, I, I listen to all the men and that, that 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 say the right you know that talk about this thing but and they're all very a lot of the ones I listen to are all fantastic I, I love them I think they're great but they all miss out on the one thing <laughs> that's going to change everything and they, and they invariably miss out on it am I am I making a big deal out of it well because for centuries we've had uh, I'm going to call it what I feel it is and it, it makes people go into cognitive dissonance. It, patriarchy is the problem because we cannot have anybody ruling. The mere idea of ruling is is antithetical to being a human because we are, if we might not be creators, but we're creatives. And if we understand the formula that is in this, what uh, Jason calls a simulacrum, then um, we we will be like into another dimension because we'll be able to create what we want. We'll be able to manifest, but we cannot manifest until we understand one very crucial thing, and that is that we are in the web of nature. We're not just humans. We're part of nature. We're we're part of the whole chain. We're not more any more special than any other creature not even more special than a blade of grass not even more special than a flea and so <laughs> try to get that into your head because it guys are just going crazy with this i th the same paradigm and so we're going to go through this we have gone through all the things that our ancestors have gone through and then suddenly we've got an opportunity to change the whole terrain and isn't that what this is about terrain theory One side's a main road, one side's a dirt road that you go walking for a mile. It's fantastic. But the cars, traffic, that's so from patriarchal times. And we're going into now egalitarian times. We're going to replace patriarchy with egalitarianism, not with matriarchy, although if we did, it becomes another. If we did replace patriarchy with matriarchy, it wouldn't be women's rule. Now, we've got to understand this. It's not the exact opposite. Matriarchy is not the exact, exact opposite, just like men don't go get pregnant for nine months. See, it's not, we're not exactly the same. And I know I'm sort of like trying to shake it into you, but it's just, it seems so obvious to me, but we're not accepting that in our society. We have nothing that caters to women. We have nothing that caters to women for childbirth, for breastfeeding, for taking care of the young. You know, for being wanting to be with their family, the whole economy doesn't cater to women. Oh, why is that? Because only 
Mm. Men, only men wrote it. That's why. And and women went along with it. Now, it's okay. Women went along with it because if they didn't, they'd get kicked out. And women, men kept women from going into the... Um, the into, into public life and into education and into everything except the home where the man specified. Now, that's not to say the men today are responsible. And it's not even that much to say the men of the past were all responsible. I'm not saying every single man. Don't worry about who's responsible because let's, let's just forget about it. We're all responsible. We're all responsible. But the men are the ones. Men are the ones who rape and kill and destroy the environment. Now, women, you don't see women in these big, huge machines going through and leveling acres. You don't see women with, with weapons. Yes, you do see them. And this is one thing we've got to understand. Women, we know, can do whatever a man can do. Some women can do whatever a man can do. But we're talking about the, the overwhelming majority, not just 51%. If you look at 80% or 90%, something huge like that, yes, women do it and men, you know, knit and all that, but that doesn't help us. It's not the same thing. It's not an equivalence of the 80, 90% who don't do it. You see, it, and this is what patriarchy has done to our thinking. Our thinking is patriarchal. And with all the men speaking everywhere, which we want men to speak, okay, I'm not saying not to speak. I think everybody should speak. But men need to look at these ratios and notice, hmm, there's only like there's 10 men here and two women. Why aren't why isn't it balanced? Is is it too male oriented? Is it too um, sort of like uh, um, marketed? And like a lot of women don't go for you know fancy marketing. Um, so we've got to start understanding the things that women want. Women want to be included, um, and I think because men have had the floor for for like eons, I think it's now time for men to make it as important to themselves as it is to us to create an egalitarian to create an egalitarian society we can do that because pretty soon there's going to be a void everything's going to just crumble and so what we need to do is prepare before that ground is vacant get ready to to go in that ground, get ready to plant yourself in that ground by by being a seedling today, doing what you need to do, be doing today. What do you need to be doing? We have answers for everything. Men don't, but we do practically everything. What, what we need to be doing today, the most important thing is collaborating, building relationships with other people, building trust with other people, and then maybe go into bringing something for them, bartering with them. But, you know, we don't want to be, remain a pastoral society. So it's okay when everything is collapsed to live like that with bartering, but it's not going to work in a sophisticated society. Now, I want to have a society that um, is just and, and, and all the rest of it and, and it's not based on money per se, but we've got to forget it we've got to think of money in a different way at the moment the money that we're thinking of is money based on debt money that comes from debt that's created from debt so every time the money is created a bigger hole is created as well for you to dive into to be stuck into you're digging you're digging yourself a bigger hole and i've noticed that a lot of places both males and female um led uh, are very still entrenched in the money system the money paradigm wait a second you know if you're if you're saying you know support us support support me because you know i'm struggling and oh, i'm an activist and we'll get more of this information to you and allow me to give you do these videos 
I mean, ad infinitum, it's just so, it's so banal to listen to. And it just spoils everything for me when people say that. Um, because what they should be doing is saying, um, giving a, another alternative to the money system. They, what do you want to buy that money with? Do you want your electricity bill paid? Well, what you've got to do is put your electricity bill, put your bills up online and so that everybody can see and just get asked people to pay for them. Rather than you get involved with me. And I'll tell you why. This, it, it, but you might be thinking um, that, you know, it's still in the money system. Yes, it is still in the money system, but it's a reduction. It's better than you being fully in the money system. It's better than you having a bank account. And now what, what we can do is start closing our bank accounts, start and if we're going to close the bank accounts, you've got to have something there that we can use to log our um, exchanges because it, we're still in the money mind. And we're we can't expect to be out of the money mind in like overnight just because we've got now the realisation that we're in a simulacrum, for example. So we've got to retrain our mind out of the debt money mind and into the logging money mind just log it just record it it's just a recording so that you'll know how many people built this building you know how how much time they put into it, who the people were and what they did this is data we need the data because we're going into a world that we're going to utilize our digital um facility that we've got it's like a machine that, you know, it's like a vacuum cleaner, really. Why would you use a broom when you could use a vacuum cleaner, although sometimes a broom is better? But we are not utilising digital technology. We're letting, again, we're just like going to our masters and obeying them. Of course, everything is recorded and that's as it should be. But what it needs to be is we have to see what those recording are, recordings are. We need to have access to them, not just the NSA, that's not egalitarian. We want to see their data as well. And we want to see ours. Now, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with the logic of that? So we've got to hold up reasonable, logical, sequential arguments that make sense. But they're based in, what does making sense? What is that based in and these are the kind of discussions that we need to open up as well instead of just repeating what we've learned we need to now go forward and lay down something new at, from I, I don't think that anything that we've learned in the past is any indication of what we should be doing in the future it's totally not a guide it's way too um, convoluted we don't know what's true we don't know that the tricksters that were put in there and it's okay, we can talk about it, but really our main focus needs to be going forward. And going forward is based on today. Today is the building block for tomorrow. So um, I'll leave it at that. There's a lot there. But I, the main thing I want to say is, ladies and girls, it's very important that we point out patriarchy, that we start to point it out because men do not, know how frequent this happens now in a conversation uh the average time that uh, patriarchy occurs it, it, within an hour is is like 10 times 10 times within the hour that that patriarchy is occurring like the idea that you don't understand what he understands because you know this men are still used to the fact that women weren't educated but now we're way past where men are and I don't want to make it a competition but I'm going to be so straightforward if you've got any cognitive dissonance you're going to get it here with me because I am tired of pretending I just want to be able to speak what I think and if you don't like what I say for any reason tell me but don't tell me that I have no right to say it or because it upsets you you, you figure out what upsets you and you work it out just like everything upsets me about patriarchy and I've, I've, I've had to deal with it. And you have to deal with what I speak about if you want to listen to me at all. You don't have to. Um, I'm only looking for the people who can, who've got the courage to face the truth. And that's what it's going to take now. 
It's going to take some courage. And we've got to learn how to get that. It's like a muscle. But I'm saying women and ladies and girls and men who care about egalitarianism and equality, we have to point out when patriarchy occurs. And a lot of the time, women do not even know because it's so secret. It's kept so secret. Even mentioning the word patriarchy creates a huge furor. And this is, this is just ridiculous. This is just doing the same thing. And this happens even with so-called truth seekers. So we've got to be able to listen and break down anybody's argument. And you know what? That's what's going to be able to counter. It's so powerful. It's got, that's what's going to be countering armies and politicians and hierarchy and patriarchy and slavery and owners and oppressors and usurpers. That's what's going to do it. Yeah, reason. We have to make sure that whatever doesn't make sense must be addressed right there and then as much as possible. And if it can't be done right there and then, say, send an email or phone call later or ask to speak with them later. This is very important because what's happening is the dumbest of the dumb are in, 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 emboldened to speak as though it, it was equivalent to intelligence. So we have to counter that. We have to point out to these people, no, that's, we don't say that's dumb, but we, we do by our argument. We don't have to put anybody down. We just, we just address the argument and, and grind them into the ground about how silly their argument is. But we don't tell them it's silly. We let them figure it out for themselves. But we can think it's silly. If it's silly, it's okay. You don't have to be forever forgiving. This all this like love and light. I'm sorry. It's that's not going to do it because people have been talking about this for two thousand years from the Bible. What? What does the Bible help? It's only written by men. Okay, so it's only one perspective. There's nothing about don't devastate forests. There's nothing about weapons. There's nothing about slavery. No, because. That, not thinking about that. Look, I have worked it out why there's this difference. And if anybody wants to know, I'm happy to say it. But I'm expecting a visitor. And this is why I'm doing this video on the fly because it's probably better that way. But uh, because she had a, an encounter to flat tire and so she's going to be delayed. So um, I, I bid you adio, adios for now. Adieu. Adieu. I bid you adieu. And uh, until the next flame excites me. I'll talk to you then.